Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today, behind the rather cautiously marked door, we're going to be having a play of Energy Redirection. And this was made and recommended by, if you'll give me one second because I definitely need my notes for this, this was made and recommended by pipe backslash underscore forward slash open parentheses close parentheses. So a very big thank you to a whole bunch of keyboard characters for this one. Uh, now this map, as I understand from the description, is actually quite special because it features a brand new PR. Oh, hi Cave. Taken over the building. If you can get out, get out now. They're... Oh god, they're breaking through the barricades! Okay, there's a Cave Johnson line that you don't get to hear very often, and it's nice to know that the Mantis men have recuperated their society, and in fact taken revenge following the giant head incident of Aperture desk job. So, um, what was I saying before I was interrupted again? Oh yeah, this map features a brand new Aperture technology, which is always very exciting in a game that is, what, now 11 years old? Uh, I believe it will come from that tube dispenser there, but first of all, I'm enticed by the box marked danger. Okay, we have to press the button on the box marked danger. The box marked danger, that's a high energy pellet. Well, we know they're dangerous. We've dealt with them many, many times, and uh, one of those to the face will, in fact, kill you, as we have learnt many, many times. I do like the way it pops out of this box, though. Yeah, that's a nice little bit of added extra uh, added extra animation there. Uh, I'm guessing the... Can you go away? Yeah, I don't like how dangerous those are, and I don't trust them behind me. Uh, I'm guessing the new bit of tech actually... Oh, wow, okay, this is a pretty big science fear. Uh, I'm guessing the new bit of tech actually comes from you. Eventually? Sometime... There it is. Oh, what a lovely paint job it has. Yeah, that looks stunning. Very, very cyberpunk meets tie-dye hippie type paint job on that one. Uh, this is an energy redirection cube and as I understand it from the description uh, we're gonna have to get you to come out again aren't we? This will redirect... oh ah, well, it actually grabs it. Okay oh okay yeah okay. Mm-hmm okay yeah, well we see what that does. Can you go away please? I hate these things. Okay yeah all right, um, I thought you would uh, just immediately bounce it, but apparently you sit in there for a moment. Let's uh, do that ag Oh, it should have been. Okay, that, that was weird. You know what you've done here is you found a way to make high energy pellets even more dangerous than they normally are. <laughs> I've seen how many scorch marks I've left in here already. Let's take you off of there and do this properly, shall we? Let's get you to go there, and then you'll go into there, and you'll absorb it, and then you redirect it in the way you're pointing, and you take it back in as well, apparently. Does that just keep going? I do like that little bit of added extra animation whilst that's in there. That will apparently just keep going. Wait, does that mean... Surely that means I can, like, actually aim this wherever I want, right? Yeah, okay, um... You found a way to... Bye. Bye, high energy pellet. Yeah, you found a way to uh, weaponize an aperture cube. Wonderful, that, that won't be deadly for me in the slightest. Uh, it does make sense, though, because there's no panel up there, and we do need to, in fact, to get that high energy pellet to go into here, which does have a panel. So let's stick one up on there. Activating this will open that door there. Why is there a gap here? This does seem like the sort of map where there may well be things worth having a peek about for. I mean, I think it did say in the description that there are some secrets in this map. So we are going to have to have a good look around as per usual, as per normal, in a giant science sphere such as this. I mean, there's a whole load more tests that way by the looks of it. Let's uh, get you to give us a pellet. Let's redirect it that way. And if we put orange there, will that go the way I want it to? No, it's ever so slightly off, meaning we have another pellet to dodge. Okay, can you can you go away, please? Just just pop. Okay, let's do that ever so slightly neater. Probably by lining you up a bit neater, actually. Uh, take you off of there so that we don't cause that problem again. Stick you on here. Goes into there, redirects that direction, yeah? And goes neatly into the receptacle of there. That's nice, you get to see the high energy pellet doing its little job in there too. Yeah, the amount of times those bloody things have killed me. Uh, let's get up onto there then and see the rest of the chamber this way. 
Well, maybe not this way because that's apparently broken and that's a whole lot of deadly, deadly goo. All right, so... Wait, is that an observation room with a glass floor? Okay, there's two new things in this chamber. High energy pellet redirection cubes and uh, observation rooms for people with vertigo. Actually, that's wrong. It would be wrong for people with vertigo. You don't want to sit in there if you've got vertigo is what I'm trying to say. Uh, how do I get across this bloody great big gap to get to the next bit then? Is there are panels in there somewhere? That is where we want to go by the looks of it. There's a tube dropper over there. Is that panels there? You can never quite tell in these science fair maps. There's like little gaps you have to check everywhere to get around sometimes. Looks like our exit is up there connected to a lot more science up in that direction. With a lot more uh, high energy pellet work to deal with as well by the looks of it. Uh, what else have we got going? There's catwalk that goes around up through there. Well, it doesn't help at the moment. How do I get across the giant gap? Must be a panel somewhere. Do we skip all of that and go backwards? Is it this way? You haven't closed, so that's interesting. Is there an angle I'm not seeing over in there, then? Oh, you. That's what you're for, right? So if we go up there, we can probably see something else. You've stayed open, which lets us get up to here. Oh, it's one of those where we got to crouch through. And look, there's even a come hither light bulb up here, just in case I never eventually spotted it. Uh, from up here, we can see back down into the room we are in. Does that mean we can see another angle into that bit of science? There's a load more stuff in there. I can't see a panel down in there, though. What about through, through you? There is what looks like a panel over in that direction. But it doesn't seem to want to work. How do we get through into... You're at a bit of a wonky angle there, aren't you? Yeah, okay, you want me to do some sort of fling over in that direction. That's how we get across. Uh, to get there, then, we need somewhere to jump off of. Well, you're, you're open at the top, so we can go there. Squeeze back under... Hold on a sec. That's our exit, isn't it? Are we that close to the exit up here? I mean, if Shell was like a regular human and knew how to step up on very ladder-like things, a running jump would probably actually get us over there, but then uh, we'd probably skip the entire puzzle and therefore not have a game to play. Uh, let's get up onto that bit of aperture panelling there with orange on you. Squeeze through here. Then there's these panels at an angle here, right? Just there. That should launch us over in there, and that's why you're open at the top here. So we can jump back down into the room we were in before and fling over into here. Ramped up the wall somehow. Uh, over here we have a button. This button does a panel that flips around there. That would give us an angled panel up in that direction, but we're going to need a cube for it. Button up on the wall there connected to what looks like... Another dangerous high-energy pellet shooting device here. Why does it have an intercom in it? Do anything? And can I fall down this hole? No, apparently I cannot. Uh, that one we probably can. And there's a lot of holes. You know what? Let's quick save here because of holes everywhere. Uh, what can we do here then? There's that cube drop we were looking at before. Above some deadly, deadly goo. It's got a bit of a grating there though by the looks of it too catch the cube that connects to really okay fine whatever uh let's press you then can i reach that without falling off okay uh i i guess you're broken right i mean that would make sense you're in a very very kind of broken position so not that Okay, how do we get a cube from here then? Uh, there's an angled panel there for some reason. That would let us get over and get the cube and we can work out how to get it, right? I and mean, there's a big gap there though and I don't trust that gap. Let's uh, start abusing quick save quite a bit. Through into you. I mean, there's the dropper, but we can't get a cube out of it because it's broken. Wait, are you at a funky angle because there's something to see out here? 
that up there something we can use? No. I feel like you're sticking out here for a reason, right? Why are you sticking out so much? You want me to come look out here, don't you? Why? Why do you want me to come look out here? I, I have no idea. I can't see anything. Okay, uh, never mind that then. We, we can't go back that way. That's too big a jump. Uh, we can probably go back through here. I don't like that gap though, so let's hop. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. That's probably going to kill me at some point. Forgot to use that again. So it's got to be that button then, although that button is you. So we need to get up there first before we can actually get to any buttons to do anything. And why do you have a glass floor? That's like only any use if your test subject's hiding in this corner all the time. You've got a panel up there, and there's all that science up in that direction. Then how do we... Ah, that's why you're... Ah, uh, we go back and get the other cube, right? We go back and get our first cube, since that's staying open all the time. So let's put a portal over in there. Let's use you with the ever so slightly intimidating gap of death. Hop through into you, and we can grab a new one of you. Uh, let's put you slightly lower. Remember that there's a gap there, and prepare to hop. Do like this paint job, looks very cool. Uh, hop through to there, then we can stick you on this button, which will flip that around for us. And then that gives us an angle to launch up in that direction somehow. Uh, for launching up in that direction, we can still see you. Uh, so we're going to go around again and get up on top of there, which we can probably see you from, and do another fling to get that way, I believe. So that probably means um, this is actually just broken then, right? This is actually just a non-functioning chunk of chamber. I mean, it sounds like something's happening, but no cube. But we do have you, so that's probably intentional. I mean, of course it is. This is a hammer map. Everything is intentional. Is that our exit? That's our exit, right? That's where we were looking at from up on that really high bit of catwalk up there before. I feel like I've got to look everywhere in this map. These science fair maps usually have things tucked away, and it did say there were secrets. It did say there were secrets in this map, and I don't know where to look at the moment. I mean, you've got an open door. So clearly we want to get in there somehow. Somehow. It's not breakable glass, is it? I mean, that'd be stupid to have breakable glass on the floor, so probably not. Uh, that is all glassed in, so we can't just portal up in there. Let's uh, get up there and see if there's another angle to work with. Uh, how did we get up there? How do we do that? We want to do up on you. Then use the intimidating gap to jump through here. Squeeze into this. Okay, that's always slightly disorientating. Squeeze into this bit. And if we go back down on the busted aperture sign, squeeze under you again. And up onto you. Uh, we can see that panel that we swung around there. There's something through that gap now, maybe. I feel like there must be something I'm missing already, because I can see everywhere pretty much, apart from everything up in there. But I can see everything already. Um, arrow that way. We suggest we go that way when we actually get there through that bit, I guess. Yeah, I feel like... There's something I'm missing already. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go up into that direction, which should be enough of a height drop from here again. Flings us up into here, where we have more high energy pellet receptors connected to high energy pellet receptors connected to high energy pellet receptors. With timers, the old Nixie tube style timers. Really want a bedside clock that made out of those. They look really cool. Um, that's the other side of the observation room. That's pointing over for a reason, right? And this little bit of extra panel here for some reason. But that launch us up there. In fact, there's a chair up there. There's a chair up there, isn't there? Yeah, that would really suggest that we do in fact want to go that way. That does look like it'll actually get us around into the observation room. 
Okay, so we need a way to launch out of you. To get us up there somehow. Can we see that really high bit of catwalk again? That was like over in that direction, wasn't it? Somewhere up there? Oh, we can, can't we? Can we get up there? You're not going to let me shoot through that little gap? That is it, right? Um, let me move that orange before I manage to kill myself. It's up there. No, there's no angle, is there? It's too tight or there is no way to actually shoot through here. No, you're not letting me shoot up there. Okay, um, somewhere else to leap off of? There, maybe? Is that high enough? That's not going to be high enough to get up there, right? Let's put you on there. Jump into you, and it's to my right. No, that's nowhere near high enough. All right, there must be an angle that I'm not seeing yet. Uh, we can go up there, though, and getting up here would actually let us get around to this button. This gives us more of an angle. Can we get up there now? Surely I can hit that, right? That lets us get there. So how do we make use of that, then? So we need to leave a portal on you. Probably lined up a little bit nicer like that. That will let us get up there again. Let's uh, quick save, because I think we're going slightly off track here. Actually, before we do anything else, let's press this button since we're here. This button gives us a high energy pellet out of you. No, nope, in fact, that button just destroys that altogether. Okay, so this bit of the chamber completely Those broke up. Oh. Bad news is we're both those tests and definitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of madness. <laughs> Pick up a set of Okay. What an awesome little running gag addition. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. Um yeah, cool. All glory to the Mantis Men. They very much deserve to run Aperture after everything caved into them. Uh, I feel like now I'm wanting to get up there. Because that clearly connects into there. And in fact, there's something over there as well, isn't there? Yeah, something... Is that a panel? That looks like a panel back there, right? Can we not get into you? Is that not going through that little gap there? Are we having gap issues again? Is that there? No, okay, so it's going that way, right? Because that clearly says come here. And then it clearly goes round to that open door and we can go check out what's in there. And since it's there, I really, really want to go there. Um, So we've got orange there. We can get up onto you again. And how do we jump back? We need that first, right? We need to get there again, but that means the portals are in the wrong place. Let's try it anyway, just see what we can actually make use of now we've found this way. Squeeze back under here. Right, does that mean I could see from there into there? That's way too tight an angle. I want to get there then. That's the only place we can jump from, right? Can't jump off of here. Okay, so let's put orange on you. Squeeze back into up on top of here. And then can I see into there from here somewhere? No, because it's right tucked down there now, isn't it? There's no angle to see into there. Uh, we can do the height drop thing here, though, but... Oh, wait. Didn't that launch us pretty much onto the panel in the corner there? So we'd have to drop down into here, fly out of blue, place orange on the floor as we come round. No, that's all glassed off. I really want to get up into that corner because it definitely looks like we can do. So I'm probably going to waste a fair amount of time attempting that. Um, so drop into orange, come out of blue, try and place orange on the floor just in time. In fact, let's quick save here. No, that chucks you way past it. So how do I make use of that then? Oh, hold on. Did I? No, we left orange on the floor in there. That doesn't work. 
So how can I make use of... Make use of this, then, to get up there? There's got to be a way. It's there for a reason, right? Um, still got the angled thing there, but I want to get up there again. Blue on you, orange on you gets us back up to where we can actually see that from. So there's a way I can leave a portal there. How could I do that? Is there a blatant thing I'm missing? I feel like that's definitely something we want to do, and if it takes too long, I'll uh, I'll skip it, to be honest, but I really, really, really want to. You don't do anything else now, do you? No, we've established that doesn't work. Oh, was there something down there? Now that that's open. Can I see? No, that's uh, very, very clearly just deadly, deadly goo, so... No. Um... Well, if the cube wasn't on there, you'd... No, that faces the wrong way, doesn't it? We're going to need that cube anyway. So let's get that cube over into this side of the chamber. Use you. Ah, interesting. You line up with that one, and you line up with that one. So that's probably quite relevant. Also, seven seconds isn't very long for someone like me with awful timing. Uh, let's go get that cube. Remember that there's a deadly gap here take you over to that side you now you go the wrong way round that's annoying if you're facing the other way I probably could have made use of that somehow is there any way I can launch vertically here because then I'd be able to see into there and come back out of there do you not have any use now that this has fallen through doesn't seem like it, does it? It feels like this is just a broken bit of the chamber area. So let's uh, grab you, take you through here, because we're going to need you in here anyway. That was very close. Let's uh, quick save again, because I hate that little gap. Um, right, I really want to get up there. How? There's got to be a way. Please bear with me whilst I attempt to find out how to get in there. We can get to places with more of a drop. I'm not going to be able to shoot a portal out of there. Maybe we've got to go all the way to the exit before we manage it. It's like the only other place with an angle to get there. Uh, what could we do then? Maybe we're not supposed to be able to get there yet. Let's try and get this thing going before we go up there and maybe we can come back to everything. Uh, to do high energy pellets here, we're going to need to go back to the first room anyway because uh, the second one broke. So that does mean going back up to this bit. Let's go and put the blue over into... Oh, are you enough of a drop? Sorry, I'm very, very easily distracted. Is there enough of a drop out of, say, like, there? Can I get that any higher somehow? Is that enough of a drop to come out of here with enough height. So let's put orange on you. Uh, we're going to replace the blue as we fall through. Oh, it's very close. It's very close. It's close enough that I want to try it again. Do that one and that one. Then put the orange on you again. Blue... Is there any way to get higher there? The bloody uh, cube dropper shaft is blocking it there. Really feels like I'd need to do it from up there. There's nowhere there that I could use. Is that a gap there at the side we could make a shot through? There's no angle to it here, is there? No. Okay, so maybe once we're through there. Let's uh, get the high energy pellet thing going then with orange on you. Then we put the blue over in that room anyway, because we do need a high energy pellet in there. Thank you. Then uh, we're going to need, I guess, that one probably makes the most sense. Let's put the blue somewhere a little bit more usable, that kind of height. Let's do you. Grab a pellet. I like that you can grab it from below. Aim that in there. Right, okay, cool, yeah, that works. Then we need another pellet. I, I'm not going to be able to pull off this timing, am I? Because that's already closing. Aim in there. Aim in there. 
Nope. But we can grab it again, which is a nice touch. Let's do you. Then uh, we need a new one. Let's do that, that, that. Grab that just in time. Point that in there. Point that in there. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, new one. That. Grab that. Thank you. Now the end one. In there. In there. Cool. Okay, that could have taken absolutely forever. And thankfully, you don't actually have a timer on that door. Cool. Uh, let's quick save there. And return to the mystery of getting up there. Oh, I so badly want to get up there. It looks like it's intentional. Um, let's take you. Feels like we're needing you quite a bit. Is there something out this hole? That's just lighting up in that direction. Uh, here's that massive stretch of catwalk stairs that we saw earlier. Do we have an angle for anything good now? Yeah, we totally do. Okay, uh, I'm going to use quick save again. Let's put a portal upon you. Let's leave the cube waiting patiently there. Now we can put a portal on this one. That means we can get around to have enough height. It also means I wasted loads of everybody's time trying to do it from in here. But, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. My time is absolutely worthless. It's only your time that was wasted, really, so it's not really my problem. Let's do orange on you. Pops us up onto here. Yeah, okay. Uh, then we can put the blue on the floor down in here again and hope we can work out in midair, in time, which way we want to get to that, get to that armchair. Which is... I, I hit my head. I hit my bloody head. Okay, pop through into... Nope, it's this side we want. And we've got to go round again, right? Let's, um... Why is that so close? Is that not for me to do this? Surely it is. Put the orange there. That might give me a little bit more headroom. Go back up to this corner where the cube awaits further science. Portal upon you there. Into here. Shit. Is this still going to be high enough? I really hope this is high enough. Uh, let's do... Oh, maybe this is intentional, actually, since we can get here. Let's do blue there. Then, please. Yes, I knew it was achievable. Cool. Right, so from here, we can just have a lovely sit down. Cool. Uh, right, so, so that means we can actually get into this observation room. And an exit there as well. Okay, uh, that's obviously there for a reason. What's in here, though, first? Anything? Was there any reason I came into here at all? What a cool TV. Uh, there was no reason for me to come in here, was there? No? Really? C computer? No? There was absolutely no reason whatsoever for me to come into here, other than to have a better look at the glass floor. Okay, I really did waste a lot of time then, didn't I? Um, yeah. What's this then through here? It's got a fizzler. Why do you have a fizzler? Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. We all heard that, right? We all just heard Cave going meow, 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 meow. Hmm. Is that what we came here for? Is that what I wasted all of this time for? Uh, it does actually mean that I can stick one of those little link things up in the corner of the video to one of my very early videos that, like, hardly anybody has ever watched because, well, why would they? Um, yeah, okay. That was a waste of time. <laughs> cool, though. I do like seeing weird little pointless things like that in these. Uh, can we get back into here somehow now is a good question. Can I hop this? We stand up on you, yeah. All right, so let's continue and do more of the chamber then, I guess. That was a massive waste of everybody's time. Let's take uh, you further up the stairs to the next chamber, as indicated used to be that way, but is now in fact this way, where there is another fizzler. So bringing this cube was absolutely pointless. Bye-bye, cube. Hello, right, in, oh, hi again, Cave. Here, founder and CEO of Aperture Science, the best damn applied sciences company on Earth. How good is the science here? Get a load of this. I'm dead. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Cave, how is that possible? Are you some manner of Dracula or a Frankenstein? Or, depending on your cultural heritage, a Blackula or a Latin Frankenstein? <laughs> nope, just science. 
As of this morning, I have been resurrected inside of a computer. That aside, situation normal. So, continue testing. Yeah, normal, except the fact that that computer is inside a giant head. Because, why the fuck not, right? Uh, up here we have another high energy pellet doing its bouncing thing there. I do like those boxes. I do like those boxes that dangerously emit those pellets. Uh, there is a high energy pellet receptor up there. There is you with a very specific arrow there. Over this side of the room we've got a button which seems to angle that bit of glass there for some reason. Probably to bounce a high energy pellet up into that receptor there. It's also got another box in the middle of the room here with another very specific arrow. Uh, this button here does probably gives us another one of those cubes, right? It does. Okay, we got another one of these fancy paint job cubes. Uh, and a high energy pellet to do some redirection with. However, bloody great fizzler in the way. Fizzler is connected to the receiver up on the wall there. So we need to get that to go. Ah, that's why you're at an angle. Uh, let's get you to sit on there then. Pointing the way as indicated via the arrow. So that's going to bounce it there. If that bounces it there. When they just bounce it. Oh no, funky angles, right? Okay, I know what to do. Uh, let's do there and there. Which should go into the cube there. Then there and there, right? It comes out there. Yeah, funky angles for the win. Another high energy pellet very close to my face. Let's step away. That gets rid of the fizzler that's in the middle of the room here. So then we want the high energy pellet to go hit you. We're just going to need a cube upon that to angle you upwards. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Because this. Will the pellet go through that? I'm guessing not, but let's try it anyway. Send a pellet through there. I'm guessing that's going to stop, right? Wait, well, it, it kind of did. I mean, for some reason it thinks it went through. Because it's left a mark on there. Do another one. Yeah, that's, that's bizarre. The particle effect seems to think it's 10 foot over in that direction. Can you see that again? Yeah, okay. Ever so slightly strange. Clearly not how we're supposed to do this. We're probably supposed to get you in there. Oh yeah, because you can you can do this, right? I can grab you and then manually move you into that room in there. I forgot how dangerous that could be. Yeah, let's just wait for you to finish. Because I don't trust them. Thank you. Right, and new one's doing its thing over there. Uh, that means we could probably just manually take a pellet in there. Hate those things. Let's go into there with you. Let's uh, take this over here. Let's wait for that to go out of the way. Let's fill this cube like that. And then if I put you there, uh, you'll just keep doing this, right? You're just going to keep bouncing in and out of this. That gives me time to go stand on that button. Which should redirect it up to the ceiling. Yeah, and why is everything shaking? Why is the wall moving? Okay. The wall is moving to show us more chamber. Very, very nice bit of transition work there. Uh, up in there, then, let's go have a look at what that's given us. Where's the pellet? Don't trust the bloody thing. Uh, up in here is some arrows pointing at an edge. Okay, move out the way before that comes back. <laughs> okay, that could have been really bad. Shall we move the quick save to a slightly more safe location? Just in case. Uh, what I was about to say is those point there. Very clearly point there with bloody great big arrows. Uh, there's the fizzlers we were looking at from way down below before. And you've got more arrows there. Can I get back if I jump down here? Yeah, surely I can. Uh, from down here. Is this the bit that moved? Yeah, this is the bit of chamber that slid up, isn't it? Uh, we've got arrows here and an X. They point to, They point to an X there. And they point to an X there. Okay, yeah, more funky angles, right? there's a high energy pellet receptor there so 
want to bounce the cube in there by the looks of it. Also just noticed that the music has stopped, making everything feel a hundred times more tense. And it looks like there's a receptor around this corner too. So that should bounce off of that X there, right? So... That... Is that really two seconds? Okay, that's not going to be awkwardly short timing at all. Um, Don't go down through there, that would be death, clearly. So we need to be over there when that goes into there, obviously, because two seconds is not enough time for me to, well, even get through there if I'm stood next to it, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see about getting the cube into this area. Well, actually, aren't we going to need a cube with energy pellets in? Okay, so we're going to have to we're going to have to manually maneuver the cube again with a pellet in it, like we did just before. Uh, let's pop through to a... really. Okay, that's that's embarrassing. Didn't think that through. But we did want to get back up here anyway. Let's put an orange down there. Uh, let's put the blue somewhere that's not going to get me killed immediately when I'm not paying attention. In fact, we need to go in there and get that cube. Let's go this way around then. Grab you. Uh, we're going to need you to have high energy installed in you. And then I guess just like stand here because that's kind of high. So we're going to have to manually aim that. Let's put the orange somewhere kind of close then. Let's put the blue back up there. Jump through to there with me as well. Uh, let's put the blue on you now. Grab you. Let's fill this cube with high energy. Uh, that's going to go out in there. Can I have a new pellet just so the timing is slightly more favorable? Okay, now you're doing angles. I don't trust them when they do angles. Pellet, please. Through here. Then where's those arrows? Okay, that's now this side rather dangerously. We're going to have to do that a lot quicker. Uh, let's put this slightly more usable. You gone? You gone. Let's put that slightly more usable. Let's do, let's do there so that I can reposition things somewhere I can make more use of them. Like there would probably be clever. Go back into here. Reacquire energy like that. Pop out here. And aim there. That's that's not right, is it? Can I have that back? Yeah, now aim there. Aim there. Is that good? Is that a good angle? That doesn't sound like a good angle. Grab it again. Alright, aim a little bit better like there then. Surely that's right on the X, no? No, apparently not. Can I grab that again? Oh, do that one. I could have done that one for me. That would have been great, but no. Uh, let's grab more high energy. I don't like how close that is every time. Energy through here. Aim there. I need to be more over to the edge, don't I? Grab that one. I do like that you get another go, though, if you can catch it again. Ah, come on, that's right on the X. Apparently, not right on the X. Okay, we need more. And we need to be better at geometry, apparently. Grab you. Come back up onto here. It's there. It's now just, just, just gone. It's just, just sailing up there. Fine. Uh, let's try the other one first then, shall we? Since I clearly am not very good at aiming this thing. Energy pellet up onto there, there, there. Is that gonna do it? It bounces down there. Bounce into there. No, you're coming back out. And you're gonna do this one for me because you hate me. Fine. Energy pellet. Into here. No, into here. Aim. That's that's useless. Grab it back. Now you're just going to bounce over there wildly till I can... Oh, cool. Second go. There. Well, not entirely as I intended, but um, it got there in the end. I'm guessing when we've got both of those done, that's going to flip that round maybe because we do need a way to get over there. And there is a little bit of a motor system going on. So now we need to do you pretty much the same way. Probably take just as long aiming wise. Grab that. Then there. Is that any good? That's miles off, isn't it? Absolutely miles off. Unless it wants to favor me. Oh, look at that. Didn't even intend to get it that way. But that's just how good I am at this game. That has in fact flipped you around and gives us some panels over there. 
So now we need to use those orange markers up there to get the high energy pellet to go there then, right? So we need to get back over that way. Uh, with you, probably. Wait, how am I going to do this? We need you to sit here. Lined up with the receptor in the wall there. Like that. Then we need... Uh, we need to get over there first, right? So let's put a blue down over there. Then let's quick save because we're going to have to go through the panel that the pellet's bouncing off of. Do the orange on you. Thank you. Then you just go do your thing there. I line up with the door. We put the blue there. That is no good. Let's do it again then. Blue there. And that should put it in there, right? And then we've got two seconds to get through this door. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Oh, hi, Gabe. Now, admit, losing my body does have its drawbacks, but it's got its perks, too. As a being of pure intellect, I've now got time to read the entire literary canon of the human race. Here I go. And I am done. Continue testing. I will do. Please let me know if there is anything worth reading amongst that. Uh, that's actually the exit then, isn't it? Because we are now up where we were looking at before. Yep, get through in a sec. We are now up where we were looking at before from that very high bit of catwalk. Uh, I think that was quite a clever map. And I particularly like the high energy pellet redirection cube. As much as I still very much dislike the high energy pellets. You just can't trust the bloody things, but at least now you have a slight bit of control over them. I do really like the fact that you've basically weaponized a cube. Very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, that was Energy Redirection by Quickly Checks Notes. Pipe backslash underscore forward slash open parentheses close parentheses. So a big thank you to Pipe backslash underscore forward slash open parentheses close parentheses for that one. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play and you have a far more pronounceable username than that, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means, as indicated by your bendy pal on the screen. And uh, that is actually the end, so thank you very, very much for watching. And now, just like at the end of every single episode of Perpetual Testing, a science fact for you. <coughs> Since we all know that birds evolved and descended from dinosaurs, then it would stand to reason that the extinction level event asteroid impact is in fact the highest ever ratio of birds to one stone. There you go, whoever said I don't teach you anything.